it's time for dining room now and in the dining room scene we have these objects and well the table is textured as I said you I have one rule vertical planes vertical textures so horizontal planes or horizontal textures and we only left the texture with the chair and the commode is textured as I said you before with pictures also as in the example and books also. The heater has heater material uh, the plates and cups and lamps have an accent material which we have created in kitchen zone. The, the watch has a, a kitchen white material that shiny material and the fingers are in the whole brown material which we are going to apply for the for let me find it here we go we are going to apply it there okay so apply the material for the chair let's so firstly we need to uh, apply a lever bed material for the base where we are sitting and also for the back it's okay now we need to texture the legs it would be uh, wooden so grab a wood diffuse and so and the uh, color everything now we need to separate the faces to have some different sides okay this is okay we need only a line to separate these planes and now we can rotate this it's perfect now and color it's okay now also do the same thing in, in this side grab a corner an edge and separate the lines now if you don't want to change your position you can grab the face and color it okay also let's do the same thing there and there maybe let's separate these faces and rotate the texture a little bit sorry and rotate it also let's rotate this texture good and the same way you can continue and finish texturing the chair it's uh, really simple just you need to separate the faces and uh, lines which we have created won't be visible in renders okay so I think it's almost done for the rendering you need also pictures down there as I showed you in the pictures in these, these have also glass it's really simple just place texture on the top plane and copy it and to the inside plane and on the top plane add a glass material also you will need to change a zoom factor in the in this menu and well maybe let's uh, you should uh, change the aspect image aspect of course uh, you need to change a z depth channel values and very frame buffer channel and just click this uh, and change the values using a advanced camera tool set I'm not to going to show you to save some time so let's see what uh, we have in the render <laughs> 